Of the end, Westbrook. Now to LeBron. This is the two games. Lakers split them one and one. Last year they were 12 and 15 without him. AD Jordan and the first bucket. Allen has the offensive rebound. Here's Garland from Vanderbilt. The floater actually it's a pass to the former Trojan Mobley taken by Garland. Now market it. He's set. He's not going to miss two in a row. Yeah, he no. he's You're a, right. He's a three point guy even at that size. Mobley, born in San Diego, prepped in Temecula, Sexton, baseline, a good ball fake, Mobley's going to shoot the baseline jump shot, knocks it down, yeah, it really looks real smooth on that shot as well, LeBron tries to bully his way in, and with the offhand, from the interior defensively, that time when Jordan had a little gimme. He was affected by the shot blocking. 7-4, Cavs on top. Bays more. They'll move the ball quickly. The open man is Westbrook. Right above the break. Yes, sir, for three. Knocks down his first from long distance. He garnered his 185th triple-double. All-time leader in the NBA the other night. Boldly, this should be easy for him. And it is. Yeah. He's pretty smooth. Really a smooth player. You can see how his footwork is that of a smaller player. Westbrook attacks and scores! Getting into the paint. Rush shooting 42% overall. That three a moment ago was just his third made all year. Allen, just a little sweeper oh, for them. And they've done well after losing the first two in the season and allowing a ton of points. They buckled down. Davis trying to attack that defense and rolls it in. He just kind of pushed Mobley out of the way. Well, Mobley could win line and he still can rebound. Kevin Love, the final holdover from that 2016 championship team. And that one rolls in as the Lakers have the basket out of the timeout and lead by two. Did you see how Anthony Davis on that curl play there had to go to almost to a traditional hook to get it over Allen? This is the first time Rubio's played in the Eastern Conference. And apparently Colin Sexton is all ears when Rubio's giving him advice. Baysmore, the Euro step. That's going to be a block, but a goal 10? Yeah, a and goal he, 10. And he should have let it alone because that was not going in. He shot it off the backboard too hard. It was going to come well off the rim. But marketing was there to goal 10. Bays has a couple of double-digit scoring games. One of them was the other night at OKC when he had 11, a couple of rebounds, four assists in 28 minutes. So the Lakers lead by four. The Lake Show's biggest lead, Jared Allen, who, of course, was playing in Brooklyn. Here's Rubio. He's having a good shooting year, too, and he knocks that one down from mid-range. Seems like he's always had a good shooting game against the Lakers. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? Turned 31 on Thursday. Baysmore corner, Russbrook wants to attack, Russ throw it down! Boy, Jared Allen ran him off to three and gave up the dunk. They should uh, invite him to shoot Exactly. <laughs> He's just not being smart as a pl defensive player. Rubio for three, that's going to roll around, come out, rebound to DJ, who's played really well last couple of games. LeBron taking on the entire team, it's one <laughs> on five. Literally. Yeah. Lakers were a little slow helping him out offensively. And you said he's going to work on Lowry marketing, but he can't knock it down. And Kevin Love, get a little gray as Kevin Love. Let's distinguish on the floor because he's battled injuries the last few years. Still here in Cleveland, though. Nice Bounce down underneath, on its way, not there. Rebound thrown down by Jared Allen. It's a nice little setup that time. Again, Garvey with the delivery. AD with a one on one. Boy, Lowry's really getting picked on tonight so far. And there's another bucket by AD. Anthony Davis scores for the Lakers tonight. He's three for four, and he has six points. And I like the fact that they're starting off at least uh, trying to uh, attack the paint. They knock it away from Rubio. Here's Kevin Love, the former Bruin. Can't hit it. Of course, he and Rubio played together in Minnesota. That's not going to find AD. Tried to save. Now they've got a power play. His AD went all the way, all the way up the ramp. It's going to take him a while to get back, and that's why they committed the foul. <laughs> he said going to take him a while. <laughs> he's still, he's still. Yeah, he's back on the floor now. <laughs> 
least he had an open path to continue running. A lot of times in the NBA, especially, players are running at such a high rate of speed, and then they have to somehow try to avoid spectators, and that's how you end up getting hurt. But Anthony Davis had a clear path and ended up in the tunnel. Took his time I, I was going to say, how many years have I been coming here? And I called it a ramp and not a tunnel. There's no elevation change when you go through that tunnel. Underneath here's Kevin Love. Turn around, shot. Going to dance around on the rim. Oh, and then dropping it out of bounds. Unfortunately, is Malik Monk. Unforced air. And the ball will belong back to the Cavaliers, who are down by four right now. The Lakers really going to their bench here as uh, Austin Reeves comes in, replacing Bazemore. Injuries still a, an issue with the Lakers, Stu. THT, none. Trevor Ariza, Wayne Ellington. Although Ellington is pretty close. Rubio hook pass and a beauty. Oh, and throwing it right underneath was Stevens. And you can't miss a layup any worse than that one. Lamar Stevens was there, and then, and then he picks up the foul. Yeah, that's a that's a tough sequence there for Lamar. <laughs> yeah, he was wide open. He had made a nice baseline cut and got an easy pass and had an easy flush, but elevation wasn't there on that play. Yeah, Lamar played 21 minutes, had a couple of points, and half a dozen rebounds in their win over the Clippers.